Hey guys, welcome to Dare to Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a trend line. So, first off, with you know doing any sort of processing or uh, analysis, you want to get familiar with your source data. And here we have um, just some information from a production job. Um, this was over a 36 week period and it was all in department alpha. Um, so basically in a production job, um, in most if not all production jobs, you have a desired rate you want your department or individuals to reach. So in this case, we can just say it's for the overall department. They were supposed to create 103 units and then we have the actual rate of how many they actually um, processed or created, whatever you wanna imagine it is. So in the final column, we have this percent to plan. Um, I think that's the correct term terminology, percent to plan. Um, so that's what I call that header. But anyway, what that shows is compared to their desired rate, um, how much did they actually get done? So um, as you can see, 102, the actual rate is smaller than the desired rate, 103. So that would be less than 100%, it's 99%. Um, a lot of jobs, if you work at a, at a big facility, will sort of give you this information. You won't have to set it up yourself. Um, and that's for another video to show you how to set something like this up. Um, but for now, first we need to extract the week number and then the percent to plan. Um, we're going to make a trend line so we can tell if over the 36 week period from beginning to end that the department improved or it um, got worse throughout the entire uh, process. So, and, and we're just going to make a, a just one linear line. We're not going to have it exponential or, or, or curves or anything like that. It's just going to be from start to finish, did they um, have a positive slope or a negative slope? So first, let's copy these weeks. So first we're going to write week, and then we're going to write percent to plan for that week. Okay, and uh, here's a cool little trick. A lot of people like to drag this to make it fit the, uh, the text, but a great trick is just double click, and it will just snap exactly where it needs to be. Um, so here we're going to just write equals, and we're going to click on the one. And then we can just drag this down all the way down to 36. And it just copies, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six cells over. That's all it's doing. And we're going to do the same with percent to plan. Click equals and click on that one, enter, go back to this box, and then double click. And now it will autofill all the way down for us. So now we have to make a scatter plot first. So we're going to highlight this data. Control shift right, and we're gonna hold on to control and shift and click down. And now all of our data is highlighted. Let's move over so we can get away from that first chart. We're gonna go to the insert tab up here and click on this, or we can go to recommended charts. Um, I'll show you that one. And then you can just go to all charts and then you would go down to uh, XY scatter. And we want this one. Oops. Or, like I said the other way, you can just click on scatter, and there's our scatter plot. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. We don't need to make it um, pretty or anything like that. Um, so all we pretty much want to do now is this shows us for every week on the x-axis uh, what percentage we got on the y-axis. So as you can tell, there's like an up, down, up, down for a long period, and then up again. So you're not sure from beginning to the end did we improve or did we get worse? So that's where the trend line comes in. So what we wanna do is click this little plus over here. We wanna add the chart element of a trend line. And there's our trend line. So we still can't really tell if that's going up or down. It looks like it's going down a little bit, but it'd be great to know exactly what percentage it went down. So we're going to double click on that. Let this little thing pop up on the side and let's go to the paint bucket and let's not make that the same color as the dots let's make it a, uh, a bright red and let's change the dash type over here to a solid line and our line here is solid as well now too awesome so um we can see the line a little bit better now but we still want like a numerical value to explain what's going on so we're going to go back to these bars over here trend line options and go all the way down to display equation on chart. And now we're gonna click on that. Make sure you get the crosshairs here. Drag it. 
Now here we want it to look a little bit bigger so we can triple click inside of it or you can highlight all of it, whichever is easier for you. I'm just gonna triple click, one, two, three, and I'm gonna make it bold. You can either go to the home tab and uh, use this or you can use your keyboard shortcuts, control D to make it bold and control shift greater than, greater than, greater than, and now it's bigger. Okay, so we can close this out and we can look at what we have here. So, um, you know, just a standard, um, equation here, you know, y equals mx plus b. Um, so if we're just looking at the slope of this line, if the line's going up or down, we just want to look at the uh, number next to x, and that's in decimal form. So let's go over here and write decimal, and then percentage, because we want it in a percentage. Um, so we can just copy that decimal. It was negative 0 0.0003, and we don't need to copy the x. Um, yeah, we don't need to copy the x. And you can either just move the decimal two places over in your head, or you can hit equals and equal it to that. And now click on the second one if you want it in percentage form. Go up here and click this percentage. And you say, oh, 0%, that's not 0%. You just need to move the decimal down, move it to the left. And that shows that the department from start to finish with its ups and downs overall, um, went down 0.03%. So for the remainder of the year, um, if you'd like to make some improvements, if you want to go back to the source data, it looks like everything was pretty close to the desired rate for a while until all of a sudden um, you get down over here to this drop to 99. And that was a little sporadic there for a little bit and then it went up again. But um, if you want to look at the actual data, it looks like these were above but for a long, for a longer period of time, a longer wait, um, it was below. So it looks like you had some layoffs, or um, maybe you had a bunch of new people coming in. For some reason, um, you know, your rate went down for a, pre a pretty long period of time, and you weren't above it enough to make up for it. So a um, little bit of analysis there too. But that's how you make a trend line. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching, and more videos to come.